Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Not too much price action today, but bulls and the bears are really fighting for this 1850 level we established already in previous videos. That is quite an important level um, for various reasons. Um, what I wanted to start with is just take a look at the daily relative strength index and the MACD. So the RSI, as you can see, produced a bullish crossover here on the 7th of August, still in the bearish range, caught in this correction. But if it can push and sustain above 50, we might get a little bit of a move here. Yeah, it might be a bit of a catalyst for higher and indicate that the next rally is starting. The MACD also crossed bullish around the 7th, no, it's the 9th of August, actually. So it's just something to observe, um, could indicate that upside momentum is unfolding. But again, price is always key. Yeah, I just use these to get some indications, typically just looking for oversold readings and looking for divergences. But overall, the RSI is fairly neutral at the moment. The MACD now needs to prove that upside momentum really is being generated and can sustain because these can change quickly. Just want to show you that indicator here just to highlight that, of course, you know, we broke above the trend line. We're still watching a larger bullish scenario. But I mean, generally, price action is key. So, for example, if it breaks below our Fibonacci support that we're going to talk about in a minute, this will turn to the downside again. So, price action is always key. But it's certainly interesting to see that we've had here a bullish crossover. And if this continues to gain in momentum, then we can get our fifth wave up. And we're going to take a look at that now on the lower time frame. Overall, we are still here looking at a one two setup on the chart. We're very close to that ascending trend line. We are holding above our support box. So generally, this is still a bullish chart, bullish structure. And as long as the $1,700 level is holding, we can expect a third wave rally to the upside. If that level breaks, however, we need to look at the alternative wave count, which would indicate that this wave two here, which we currently have marked as complete on the 15th of June, never finished and it will need to be reset. And then 1530 is support. But again, very important, if we break below 1700, it would not be bearish. It would just be a larger degree bullish scenario. The following scenario, the alternative scenario, which would then play out it is still a bullish scenario. Looking at the four hour chart, we see a little bit more detail. We're currently coming down in this wave two correction. Yeah, no change to the wave count from previous videos. Important, the trend line is not so important, at least not for us Elliott Wave analysts. What's more important is the uh, 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level at $1,700 down there, plus minus a few dollars that will depend on the exchange. But roughly 1700 as long as that level is holding we can expect a third wave rally to the upside below that level a deeper pullback has to happen to round about 1530 probably and we have to expect it then but um, until that level breaks we can expect a more direct move to um to 2500 dollars plus in a third wave now we are observing currently on the one hour chart if the low has already been made in this wave two correction yeah and the low would have been made on the 7th of August, here around $1,800. I don't have any, ev well, I have some initial indications for that, right? We broke above the trend line. We've got the MACD on the daily turning bullish, but the price structure hasn't confirmed it yet. And that is for me always leading. That is important. So until price structure hasn't confirmed that, confirmed that another low is for me the leading scenario. How would price structure confirm it? Well, we need to see five waves up as highlighted here in yellow. Until we see those five waves to the upside, I'm skeptical about the turnaround already, yeah, that we already turned around. I'd rather be looking at um, another low. Yeah. So of course, this could all turn into a larger corrective structure, even if we make one more high. Therefore, it is important not only to get five waves up, but also three waves down. That's the process we need to follow. And the good thing is if we get five waves to the upside and then we get a three wave pullback afterwards and we can track a relevant support level or area, 
then this can act as another high reward, low risk trade setup. So I'm going to track that for you, of course, but until we get five waves up, for me, the white wave count is still the leading one where we could come down in this five, uh, fifth wave. Someone asked me if I can count this move down already as um, five wave move, because if we say the C wave here would have a chance, yeah, which is basically still the leading scenario, how would I count this? So again, this could be just a, um, a one, two, three, four, five pattern. And this wave one would be a leading diagonal. So that's always possible to count. However, I need to see evidence because this structure leaves a lot of room for interpretation. I can also not tell you how likely it is that we hold support here or whatever. Um, it all depends on the $1,900. No, it's 1818. Yeah, the 1818 level, as long as we're holding that on the microstructure here, it can give us either a fifth wave or maybe even a higher B wave. That's always possible. Below 1818, downside momentum should increase and bring us down to around about 1780, maybe even a bit lower. Ideally though, we would not sustain below 1780. Um, that would be ideal. But yeah, I mean, we're holding above the trend line and it could very much be that we come down a little lower here over the weekend, touch the 50% FIP level and see a bit of a reaction. But ultimately what is important is 1818 in the very short term. As long as we are holding that level, one more high can certainly happen. And then uh, we will track that pattern further until then. I don't think there is much to do at the moment. It is just directionless sideways action waiting for clarity. That's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.